Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah, if you're new here. My husband Solo and I have 10 kids, ages 16 down to one year old. And we like to shop once a month for our groceries. Mostly because I don't like to shop that much. And it's also very convenient to plan out your meals and have all your food at the beginning of the month. This grocery haul is my first of the year and we're doing something a little different. We are switching up our diet, and by diet I mean the way we eat, not to be confused with going on a diet. We're going to try, at least for the first 30 days, the first month, to eat one ingredient foods only. We're sort of challenging ourselves just to clean up our diets and get some clean eating. So when I told my kids they were pretty much on board with it and were able to get excited about it pretty quickly, my teenage boys were the last to get excited about it but they eat the most. But when I really explained to them what I meant, they were cool with it. We eat a lot of one ingredient foods anyway but definitely not totally that way and there were some things that definitely surprised me too about what we've been buying. So it's been an eye-opening experience. I'll share that with you as I show you what we bought for month one for our family of 12 to eat. We normally have a grocery budget of around $1,300 a month, although I will say that we buy a cow, a whole cow, that lasts us a year. And so we don't have to usually buy a lot of beef. We have a lot of ground beef left, so I did have to buy some stewed meat for the month, but we have a lot of ground beef. So you're not seeing that, and that helps us stay in that $1,300 a month budget. So you'll also see if this costs us more money to eat this way. I told the kids we'll eat whatever we still have in the house, so we're not going to just like not eat those noodles because we had a box of noodles left, or if people give us food or we go to someone's house or we go out to eat, we're not going to hold to those rules. That helped the kids a lot, although in these COVID times, those things don't really happen that much. <laughs> so uh, that did make him feel better. I told Judah his birthday's coming up. I told him, you know, on your birthday, we can just throw it all out the window and get whatever you want. So. We can't have store-bought bread, but we can make our own bread. We can't have store-bought tortillas, but we can make our own, different things like that. So it's gonna be an interesting month, definitely a little more work in the kitchen. My kids all love to cook too. Uh, Judah was most disappointed about noodles, but he does like to make his own noodles too. So when you eat one ingredient foods, there's only one ingredient in everything you buy. We made exceptions for like enzymes in cheese or cultures in yogurt and salt. So those are the only exceptions we made those because we wanted to have some dairy products. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier for the kids to eat that way too. So there were a lot of things that surprised me, good and bad, easy and hard about shopping this way. First of all, I went to Aldi. I haven't been to Aldi forever. And there was some good about it and there was some bad. Here's my haul from Aldi. That pot is a 16 quart pot that's not from Aldi, that's from Target. It's not included in my grocery haul, but I wanted to show it to you. We were recently with the Miller family who are here on YouTube and she had this pot and I was in love. It's so big. She told me to go to Target and I did. Anyway, Aldi no longer has their limit on milk. I was able to get eight gallons this lasts us two weeks we do go back halfway through the month just to pick up some fresh fruits and vegetables usually just fresh fruit and milk now we'll see how it's different this time i will share halfway through the month what we end up having to get i could freeze the milk and get 16 for the whole month by just draining about a cup out of each one but we just don't have the freezer space for it so we do have to go back for that i got these bags of parmesan chips and these bags of dried mangoes just because i was looking around for some snacky type food that only has one ingredient and those were the winners so i know my kids will enjoy those just having them around we got six things of old-fashioned oats we always eat a lot of oatmeal so that's not different here but it's definitely a one ingredient food i got some small ziploc bags my grocery haul does include like household items and cleaning products and that kind of thing this is what was impressive about aldi i looked at sam's club when i put in my order for fish and seafood that only had one ingredient and it was so difficult to find. They had one kind of salmon that was extremely expensive. There was no way I could justify buying it. I would have needed two huge bags of it. Otherwise, everything else, even the fresh salmon had other, had like food coloring in it or food coloring in their food. And so I was just trying to avoid that so I didn't buy it. Um, but Aldi did have this. I looked at several of their bags of fish. One was expensive and didn't have any other ingredients but then i found this one so we got these three bags that would be one meal for our family of 12. 
And then I got these two bags of shrimp. This was also a great deal. These were about $3.99 each. So that's $12 for the meat for that one meal. That's why we have one of them for the month. <laughs> and these were about $5, maybe a little more than just over five each. So it's about $10 for that meal with some shrimp. We'll find something to make with that. And then I picked up these scallops. They were also about $5 each. Those two bags will be one meal for us. So I thought if it seems really short on meat for the, for our family, we could do all of those together and just have a one fun, fancy meal. We got some cilantro there and we love cooking with cilantro. And then with some green onions, got some fresh garlic. We like the minced garlic that we get in the jar, but this does take your meals to another level. So I thought since we're doing more work anyway, might as well get some of that jalapenos to throw in whatever we find. And we've been eating a lot of kale and eggs in the morning since we returned home from our trip and plan to keep that up this month. The kids like that a lot too. We make eggs with our kale and then at, put some goat cheese on top and some hot sauce and it's really good. My total at Aldi today was $112. I did pick up two things for my grandma. They weren't big things, so I don't even know what those things cost. Uh, but we'll just count the whole 112 for the beginning of this grocery haul and now I'm gonna go get Sam's Club or I think Solo's gonna go get Sam's Club for me. Are you going to pick it up? Yeah, for a small, just a little fee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tell you what I didn't like at Aldi. I went to get some canned chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Uh, I normally make beans from scratch. <laughs> from the dried beans, just like cook them in my crock pot. I soak them and cook them, whatever. Uh, but I just thought it'd be easier, since I'm doing so much scratch cooking this month, it would be easier to just buy some cans because I love them on salads and we're gonna be doing some salad bars and that kind of thing. I like them for snacks even. But I went to look at the canned chickpeas. If you've shopped at Aldi, you know that they don't have a lot of options in their brands usually. So the one kind of chickpea I could find had like, four or five ingredients in it. Yeah, it was frustrating. That was really disappointing that a canned chickpea would have that many ingredients. So I didn't buy that. We'll just make them from dried, but yuck. Also, I found out that tuna has a lot in it and I was looking for lunch meat. I knew I would be hard pressed to find anything, but I thought maybe there never any brand would have like not much ingredients in it, but it was like less than 2% of a thousand things. <laughs> so uh, if you have any ideas for lunch meat or what you do for that, maybe egg salad sandwiches is where it's at, I'm not sure. We have to make something out of chicken breasts or something if we're gonna do a lunch meat type thing. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure there's some things we would not have checked the label of and you'll tell us that we did it wrong, but that's okay. We're just trying, we're trying our best. I think as parents, we're all trying our best all the time. Every time I take a really close look at the food that we're eating though and what's in it, I find myself very frustrated with how much junk is in the food we eat and the convenient food we eat. They really don't make it easy to eat healthy. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, next up is Sam's Club. I really like shopping at Sam's Club. If you have been around for a while, you probably figured that out. They just have big packaging for things, which really helps when you're buying for a lot of people. And then their prices of, on some things are a little higher and some things they're less. So you kind of have to know your prices. I think I compromise on a few things, but I do love the convenience of their packaging. <laughs> and I love, um, he's choking on a grape. <laughs> he's, eating, he's coughing on a grape that he's eating. Um, and I do love their pickup service. I think I could love Costco just as much, but they don't have the pickup service. So here it is. Here is our Sam's Club order in all its glory. Okay, stop with the grapes. You haven't washed them. Please go wash them. <laughs> He wears his hat everywhere. And these guys are cleaning up the kitchen while I do this, so you might hear them a little. We got a couple things of chicken thighs and four packages of this stewed meat. I told you about our beef situation. These are about just under four pounds each or around there. So we use one of them per meal at this house. My husband's Kenyan. We do a lot of Kenyan food with that kind of meat. Now we did get a few things, these three, specifically that are not one ingredient items because we use them for the vitamin D in them. My three youngest kids beside the baby, my three middle kids, and my three teenagers. My doctor recommended them for, uh, especially when the winter, we're not, when we're not getting as much sunlight just for immune systems, so we take them for that vitamin D. 
These, I guess, technically aren't one ingredient items, but it is only the pineapple, mango, papaya, bananas, and strawberries in them. So we got four bags of these frozen fruits. We're planning to do a lot of smoothies. It's a great breakfast or lunch or whatever. Snack even, I guess. The butter, salted butter, we love that. Some Greek yogurt. Got two of those. Uh, sour cream just has cultured cream, so that's easy. We always buy a couple of those a month. Pistachios, I like them shelled like that. Tilapia, this was one of the fish that I could get. Oh man, when I read the ingredients online, it was just tilapia in them. But th this one says tilapia, water, sodium, triphosphate, added to retain moisture and carbon dioxide and treated to retain color so that is disappointing because honestly the one i read online only had tilapia <sighs> this is what i mean about being frustrated with what you eat okay but anyway whatever we're still gonna eat those i told you this wouldn't be perfect but now i know okay chicken breasts i actually need to check to make sure this is only chicken breasts but i guess i uh, better i mean what else could they put in here minimally processed no artificial ingredients I don't see the ingredients list, so. so I guess that is actually just chicken. <sighs> Rice cauliflower. Pre-cooked cauliflower and salt. So we plan to do a lot of rice bowls for dinner, like maybe once a week do a chipotle type bowl. When we do that, um, my husband and I still try to eat mostly low carb, so we'll replace the rice with riced cauliflower. And we have a lot of rice, so I didn't have to buy it. We have white and brown rice. Um, but we mostly eat brown rice unless we're wanting some white rice for some special dish. Frozen broccoli. We do a lot of the frozen vegetables at the second half of the month um, and eat up the fresh ones that we buy the first half of the month. We prefer all of these roasted in the oven. Even though they're frozen, they taste really great that way. We maybe melt some coconut oil, mix it in with it, um, do some salt and other seasonings maybe. Roasted in the oven so good that way but we do microwave it sometimes too three bags of red potatoes i'm not sure i may be buying more of these halfway through the month we'll see how we go through them but we'll do baked potato bar for dinner sometimes and we do have them for lunch sometimes as well we tried some sweet potatoes i'm trying to get the baby to eat more vegetables he's not a big vegetable fan or fruits for that matter so he did eat some sweet potatoes the other day when i mixed it into something and he didn't know it so we're gonna try some more of those and also maybe use them for a dinner. I got two heads of fresh cauliflower, but they didn't have it when I went to check out. I'm gonna roast this fresh broccoli and I was gonna roast the cauliflower with it um, to make like when the kids have potato bar at night, I would have it on broccoli and cauliflower. So I may have to pick some cauliflower up at my last stop, which would be Walmart if they have it. But we can put all the same toppings on roasted cauliflower and broccoli and it's really good. Cheese and sour cream and bacon and that kind of thing. Brussels sprouts, we love roasting these. We do these often anyway. The kids like this. We dip it in some homemade ranch dressing that we make, these snap peas. And we have a lot of carrots in our fridge. They're big carrots that they don't normally eat them that way, but we're gonna cut them up and prep them so that they get eaten. I think Sola will cook something with this coleslaw mix. Of course, this one isn't one ingredient either, but it is literally just green cabbage, red cabbage, and carrots in there. So we're counting it as one ingredient item. It just was pre-chopped up for us, which is awesome. He'll use ground beef or something, but like I said, we will show you the meals that we're making, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, these make great sandwich wraps. If we could figure out what lunch meat we're using, otherwise, yeah, these make great salads too. I've got some spring mix salad. We're gonna do salad bar, I think, once a week. I'm trying to just do very simple things. The baby spinach, I think, will go in some green smoothies. Like I said, trying to get more veggies in the baby, but also everybody. So I thought we could use some bananas, spinach, avocados, make green smoothies, maybe a little of that frozen fruit too. We got a couple things of tomatoes, cucumbers. Those would be great on salad bar nights. We also cook with the tomatoes and we can make a tomato cucumber salad with some goat cheese that we got. I'll show you in a minute. We got some sweet peppers. Love those for dipping. I love them, especially green peppers. I got a big thing of colored peppers, but they were out of those. So we'll just use those. 
And yes, there's a lot of packaging. That's how we buy our groceries here in the States, unless we go to places that would be almost unaffordable for a family of 12. Some fresh markets and things, but it is a lot more affordable to buy them this way, and it comes very packaged. These things of mushrooms we'll use for salad bars. We cook with them when we do kale and eggs. Mushrooms are great in that. Bought a bag of limes just because fresh limes are better with everything, especially those chipotle bowls we plan to make. There's three bags of cutie oranges, two big bags of oranges, two big bags of pears here, two big bags of apples, five pound bags, I guess, and six bunches of bananas. They all came to me green, which is fine, buys a little time. Two things of grapes, although one is already halfway eaten in the time it took me to record this. Two bags of avocados, I told you the chipotle bowls will be good on, the smoothies. So those will get eaten in time, I think. Now let's talk cheese. If you've watched our hauls before, you may have noticed we like cheese a lot around here. I knew we wouldn't be able to get shredded cheese because there's like wood pulp put in that. I don't know what all is in the ingredients, but I knew there was a lot of extra stuff in shredded cheese. I thought we could go back to like the regular block cheese we used to buy and then we'd be good. We can slice it off for sandwiches, we can shred it. No problem, right? The cheddar block. Uh, when I looked at it, there was coloring in it they put coloring in it and it was so disappointing to look at cheese after cheese after cheese that has coloring in it that's one of the things that was frustrating why <laughs> that's my biggest question is why so i have always loved this cheese is Kerrygold, imported from ireland um i think it's grass-fed anyway the ingredients are pasteurized milk salt cheese cultures and enzymes we were counting cultures enzymes and salt and it has salt too so I got a couple things of these. We're obviously cutting way back on our cheese than what we normally eat. I was disgusted when I looked at the ingredients for cottage cheese, which we normally eat a lot of as well, so we did not buy that. Uh, string cheese was pretty good. It's just mozzarella cheese, cheese cultures, skim milk, part skim milk, salt and enzymes. We got some feta cheese, which is pretty clean too. Uh, love that with salads. We'll slice this off to use like with sandwiches or whatever. This goat cheese we love with our kale in the morning. And then this queso fresco. I've never bought this before, but I think it's good. And I think people heat it up sometimes and it can be like, um, I don't know. I thought maybe it would be good if we do, did the bowls, the rice bowls to have that kind of cheese on top. We'll see. I'm experimenting with this one because I have never bought it before, but it looks amazing and it was pretty clean ingredients too. So that's our cheese situation. I'm curious to see if we need more halfway through the month. We're definitely cutting back on cheese here. <laughs> the amount that we normally buy, but that's a good thing too. So not, not a bad thing. We also got a box of diapers and a box of Kleenex. I also ordered blueberries that were out of stock and toilet paper that was out of stock. Lovely, so my total there was $654. Not bad at all, I don't think. So far, I'm seeing well within budget eating this way. We go through condiments a lot, especially ketchup and mayonnaise. We make a lot of homey dressings with mayonnaise and my kids like ketchup because they're kids. And I made some homemade ketchup last month, or I think, or the month before. And I had tons of it, so I froze a bunch of that. We have plenty of that around. We have some mayonnaise around because we have a food storage situation. Uh, so we definitely have some mayonnaise to use for this month. I used to make my own mayonnaise, but I used farm fresh eggs. I read that because you have to use raw eggs, it's a lot safer to use farm fresh eggs than store-bought. Um, right now I don't have a contact to buy farm fresh eggs, so if we continue eating like this, which I think is a possibility if this month goes well, then I need to figure out that situation because we do like mayonnaise a lot. We like dressings, we, like, we make a Big Mac salad dressing a lot and we that's sugar free and we make a ranch dressing often also we eat it on sandwiches but i need a lunch meat solution too we have two refrigerators an extra one in the garage and the one right there and then we also have two freezers out in the garage and our beef freezer is running lower and lower on beef so we have room for all of this stuff we usually store our most of our fruit right up there on those two shelves because it gets eaten faster and better 
before it goes bad when it's out. So if you're wondering where all this is going. <laughs> okay, before I show you what I get at Walmart, let me just show you quick. I have mentioned kale and eggs that we eat for breakfast a lot. And the reason my kids love it is because we put bacon bits in it. But bacon, every kind of bacon has tons of ingredients. It's not like it can even fudge it just because there's only a couple. It's so much. So I did some research, Applegate of course is where I landed. So I ran into Target, which was the only place near me besides, I, there might be one other grocery store that had it, but they had this bacon that's no sugar, uncured bacon. So we're keeping it in the freezer, but we plan to just cook up one package every week so we can throw it in the kale and eggs. And we don't throw a lot in, but it makes, the kids love the kale. So, I mean, that's a win, right? So the ingredients on this is pork, water, sea salt, and contains less than 2% of the following, which is only celery powder, which is quite different than all other bacon I looked at and could find. Applegate for the win. These were about $4.50 each, I believe. So, you know, close to 20 bucks for this. Okay, managed to get the table cleared off. Let me show you how we stored the fruit. First of all, on the middle of the counter, we have some fruit that was left over from before. I wanted that eaten first, so I put it right front and center. Over here against a wall on the counter, we keep our avocados and tomatoes. Here's some apples that didn't fit with the other ones and garlic, limes right by the stove. And here's most of the fruit up here. I never want anybody to watch one of my videos and come away feeling bad about themselves. So I'm gonna show you what my kitchen actually looks like without the close-ups of the fruit, okay? It's kind of a mess. And this is after we cleaned. <laughs> my kids are snacking on leftover Christmas candy, although they all are also snacking on the grapes. And we have some cake from yesterday, birthday cake, and they made some cookies today, and we have dishes undone. Some of that sweet stuff is the reason we're doing <laughs> doing this plan. We're just real people over here trying to do the right thing. <laughs> so don't feel bad about yourself if you're tempted to. And if you eat perfect all the time and don't have any leftover sweets sitting around from the holidays, good for you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> okay, last one is Walmart. It is 10 o'clock, just got home from Walmart. 10 p.m., when you don't like doing Walmart with a thousand other people, you go early in the morning or late at night. It was pretty good. There were not many people in there. It was a Friday night. I knew if I waited for tomorrow, I had a lot of people with me shopping. <laughs> I spent $96 at Walmart. Let me see if you think it's worth it. I did find something we could use for lunch meat that is only pork and salt. Prosciutto is pork and sea salt. So I got three packages of that. We'll try it out. We, the kids have had prosciutto before and they like it. It's not quite the same for them as other lunch meat, but I think with nothing else, they might enjoy it. I <laughs> uh, got three things. Oh, by the way, that stuff is not cheap. I can't remember what it is now, but I'll write it up here on the screen. I got three things of eggs. We have one in the fridge already. I know we'll eat a lot of eggs. We've been eating them, like I said, for breakfast. Hard boiled eggs are big. Today we had egg bowls for lunch. We had scrambled eggs with um, toppings like cheese and sour cream and salsa and hot sauce and ketchup for those who wanted it. So that went over well, except for Noel, who is my five-year-old and told me today she doesn't like eggs anymore. So <laughs> we'll be able to scramble something up for her, but everybody else liked it. Got some heads of cauliflower since I couldn't get that at Sam's Club. I usually get my peanut butter at Trader Joe's. They have a good deal on natural peanut butter. Uh, so I'm trying out the Walmart kind. It's a little more expensive for sure. I tried out this organic creamy one. They're both just peanuts and salt. They had one that was a little cheaper that actually didn't have salt in it. And I don't think that would go over very well. But I do like that they had these big jars. They were five, just over $5 for this big jar. And then these are more regular size and they were close to $4. So I normally get this for just under two, I think, at Trader Joe's this size. So I may have to walk in there for next month <laughs> to stock up. But I did want to try these two different brands and see how they went over. I found some tuna there. You know, Walmart has a lot more options. So I was able to look through a whole bunch of tuna. The last one I came to is literally just tuna and sea salt and water. So it was this one. But boy, that was, I don't know if that's worth it. And they were $1.82 each, which if you know your tuna, you can usually get it for under a dollar a can. It was more expensive tuna, but it wasn't the most expensive tuna for sure. 
found out that there's some really expensive tunas. Then the salmon only had salmon, so that was encouraging. I'll find something to do with this. We do, we do like canned salmon, pink salmon, and salt. Yay! So we got a couple cans of that. Uh, my baker, Belle, my 15 year old, asked for some chocolate bars for ba making brownies. Those only have chocolate in them. Got some kiwis. This was just a whim purchase because they were $2.97 for these six and we haven't had kiwis around for a long time. I know my kids will like that. I got four bags of chopped kale frozen, four bags of chopped collard greens frozen, and four bags of chopped spinach frozen. We use greens a lot like in, um, well, egg casseroles like quiche. And also we make a Kenyan dish often that is full of greens. It's called Sukumawiki. So you will see my total right here of what I spent on my groceries this month so far. I will show you what I went back for halfway through the month. Normally halfway through the month we spend about $150, $100 to $200, somewhere in there. I have more than that available by far this month. So I don't know, maybe I will need more halfway through. Oh, there was one thing I could not find that I will have to go look for. My youngest child just turned one and he drinks goat's milk instead of cow's milk. I couldn't even get goat's milk powder or canned goat's milk there this time, but I do have some leftover cans and powder, so we'll have to just look around at some other stores or check back to Walmart. So we will get that, and it actually is, um, that adds up a lot too, that goat's milk. But I'll find that, and I'll just keep a running tally throughout the month so we can see if we stay in the $1,300 budget. I did pick up this aloe plant, did not count it in my grocery money because I needed some pillows and hangers, <laughs> so just a few household items that had nothing to do with our grocery budget. It's a nice big plant, and if you're in the market, it was just under $10. Aloe is great for so many things. We'll see if I can keep this alive. Last time I had a massive sunburn in Kenya, we had aloe on the property we were staying on, aloe plants, and boy, those are the only relief I got. Also, I've heard that you can use that gel inside the leaves for when you're taking out box braids that have been in for a while to get the knot out at the top. So <laughs> I got some box braids I need to take out. That was good timing. We're gonna try that out. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for watching today. You can check back in in the middle of the month to see the few groceries that we end up picking up, but mostly this is our month's worth of groceries. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already. We'd love to have you stick around and check out our family. We do a food video about once a week and we'll have lots of food inspiration for you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.